It's time to work, work, work it out. Hold on, this isn't recording. Oh, it is recording. We good. <laughs> Welcome. It's time to work out. My name is Jacqueline, and today we are doing a sweat and tread workout where we have eight exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, three times through. It's a 25 minute burner. But the difference between this workout and any other workout you've ever done is it's gonna be fun. Was that believable? Yeah, it was believable. All you're gonna need for this workout is a set of weights, about medium-ish level. I'll go through the movements with you so you know. And if you have a resistance band like this, that's awesome too, but this one is optional. So let's hop onto our mats and let's get to it. We are recording, we are recording. Are you ready? We are. Let's go through these movements. Exercise number one is our booty band jumping jacks. If you don't have a band, all good. Jumping jacks will do the trick. The booty band is just gonna get your glutes super fired. You're gonna start with your feet hip width apart. Make sure that band is taut and your jumping jacks coming out and in just like that. That's it, all good. If you need to take out any hops for any reason, step out your feet one at a time. That'll still get your heart rate up. Amazing. Goodbye, band. Exercise number two are called our planks, I's, and T's. You're gonna come into a plank position option on your knees or on your toes. You're gonna try to keep those hips nice and stable. Your arm's gonna come up for an I, take it back down, come out to a T, back down, switch sides. I and T, oops, couch in the way, that's fine. You wanna make sure here a tendency is to go I, and T, we're trying to resist that rotation through the core. That's what's gonna get it nice and strong. Try to keep those hips super stable. I know you can do it. All right, exercise number three or six. <laughs> we are doing lateral squats with an optional little squat jump. Your feet are gonna be hip width apart. Grab those weights. I'm using about 15 pounds. It's about a medium-ish weight for me so that I can handle it. So choose something that works for you, maybe even grab a couple. Shoulders come back and down, your chest is really proud. For your lateral squat, you're gonna step that foot out to the side, send those hips back and down, keep that chest up. Notice my knee and my toe is facing the same direction. I'm not hunched, my heel's not lifted. We're really proud and strong here. Step it back up. Switch to the other side. Nice, long, strong squat and step it back in, and then an optional squat jump. I say optional because sometimes jumping with weights can be a little bit strenuous, so I want you to make sure you feel comfortable. If you are jumping, slight bend in the knees, take it up, and then bend as you land down to absorb that energy. If you feel like you wanna focus more on just those lateral squats, take out that squat jump. It's all good. Exercise number four are called the lean backs. We're gonna come onto our shins, grab one of your weights, and I want you to keep your hips in line with the rest of your body. Weight comes to the chest, you're gonna lean it back, feel those quads fire up, and then take it right back up. You can also come onto your toes for a little bit more stability, lean it back, and then control on the way up. Options here. You can do it without a weight because this is still going to be really intense as well. So up to you. The number one thing I want you to remember is not to break up the hips. So we're not leaning back like that. We're not coming back and then doing a wave back up. <laughs> you want to keep those hips, everything in line, just like that. Exercise number five and six are the same but it's different because we're doing one on each side. These are called our single leg hip bridge chest presses. Grab one of your weights, roll all the way onto your back, feet are hip width apart. Step one, lift those hips up. Step two, take one foot off the ground, nine degrees in that knee, and we're balancing here. Make sure those hips don't sag down, they stay up. And then, Bring that weight right above your chest, and we're coming in two chest presses. So we're working our glutes here, we're working our core for balance, and we're doing that chest press. Go ahead and do the same thing the other side. Get a feel for it. 
hips up, leg up, arm up, and we press a do. Amazing. This one is slow and steady. It is so fun. All right, friends, the next move we're doing is called seated sit-ups. You're gonna grab one of your weights, bring them to your chest. You're gonna roll it all the way back down with so much control. Press through those heels and roll it up. Optional overhead press. Really, really controlled here. Big inhale as you come down, exhale as you come up and press. Um, really important that you keep those heels down. If your heels are wanting to fly on up, what I want you to do is put the weight down, grab behind those legs, come on up and come on down. That'll do the trick. All right, and then last move to finish out our core. We're coming onto our backs for parachuters. Come onto your belly, arms come out, big inhale, reach arms up and right back down like you're parachuting right down that hill. And that's it. Those are our eight movements. Grab your stuff and let's get started. All right, friends, let's get started. Grab those bands, place them around your ankles. Or if you're going bandless, you are ready to go. In five seconds, our jumping jacks. Ready, let's go. It's happening. <laughs> Is that everyone's first thought when they get started? All right, friends, so we are here for 45 seconds. This is a great starting move because it's getting our heart rate lifted. We are working and there is no turning back. <laughs> With these jumping jacks, make sure those feet do not go so close in that this band drops. Always keep that tension, pressing those feet out nice and wide. Woo! Good work, friends. 10 more seconds. Things are happening. Come on. Three, two, and time. Woo! Pop those bands off. We have our planks, eyes to cheese, on your knees or on your toes. Hands under the shoulders, feet are hip width apart. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> All right, keep those hips stable. Bicep to ear, bicep to side, and back in. Reach and reach. Good, notice that I'm doing my best to keep my hips as stable as possible. I'm not letting them rock side to side because then we're not fighting that rotation. The core gets strong when it's doing what we tell it to do, which is to stay stable right now. 10 more seconds, woo! Good, keep it up friends. Nice, come on. Three, two, and time. Amazing, come on up, grab those weights as well. Make sure you have good form when you lift it on up. Shoulders back and down, feet hip width apart. Weights facing you, lateral squats, let's go. Sink it back and down, up, sink, and then option. For a little hop if you'd like. Good. Keep that chest up. Make sure you stay looking forward. And whatever you do, keep those knees and toes facing the same direction. Good. Heart rate is definitely lifted. A common thing here is people don't want to send their hips back and down. Make sure it goes back and down. You got it. Three, two, and time. Awesome. We have our lean backs. Weight or no weight, totally up to you. We're on our knees. Option to curl those toes. Woo! Shoulders back, chest proud. Let's go. Lean it back and up. I know the heart is racing. I know the breath is racing. This is a good chance to try and slow it down. Inhaling as you come back. Exhale as you come up. But it's hard, I know. As long as you have breath, 
going in and out your mouth. Your awesome, friends. 15 seconds. Feel those quads work. Feel that core get nice and strong, keeping you stable. Good job, friends. We have five more seconds. You've got it. Three, two, and time. Chest press in our bridges. Keep on to that weight. Roll it all the way back. Feet hip width apart. Knees up. <coughs> Hips up. Arm up. One leg up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's press. Good work. It is very dry here in Colorado. And I can feel... <coughs> I can feel a little... My throat is like... I didn't do this earlier, just right now. So I'm so excited to see you. Make sure those hips stay lifted. There's a tendency for them to drop. You really want to work that glute and hamstring for the leg that is on the ground. Five more seconds, friends. Three, two, and time. Take a break. Amazing. Make sure you're doing opposite arm, opposite leg as well. I know I cued it, but sometimes our brains misfire. <laughs> and then you're gonna be working real hard. Switch it to the other side. Hips up, leg up, arm up, let's go. Woo! Feel that chest working. Now I love this movement because it really challenges me to think about my whole body. Like I know I'm doing a chest press, I know I'm doing a single legged bridge, but What's keeping everything together is the core. I can't break up the core or else the whole movement goes downhill. So squeeze those abs, keep those hips lifted. You are doing so well, so strong. 10 more seconds. Woo! Come on, push through it. Three, two, and one. Amazing, you get to stay down. Keep onto that weight. We're doing our seated sit-ups. Extend those legs. Dig those heels into the mat. And we are going to rise from the ashes. In three, two, one. Let's go. Woohoo! We're up. Good. Keep those heels pressed into the mat. Use that core. And again, option to add that overhead press. Good. Woo! Exhaling as you come up. That helps you control the movement and helps you really get into the zone. Again, if you find your heels lifting, take out that weight and come up just like this. Use your arms to get you up, but really focus on that core. Five more seconds, or you can do it without a weight. Three, two, and time. Roll it over, friends. We're coming into parachuters. Our last movement before we take a mighty break. Three, two, arms up, and one, let's go. Parachute through the skies. We're getting strong. So the big misconception is that the core are just our abs, just the front of the body. The truth is the core wraps from the front to the back. It includes a little bit of glutes and goes lower and deeper than you might think. So incorporating movement like back work is really gonna keep you strong and balanced. Keep it up, friends, come on. Eight more seconds. You got it, three, two, and time. Woohoo! Grab some water. You have one minute of recovery. Um, I am so excited. We only have two rounds left. I don't know about you, but that went by a little faster than I, than I, than it normally does. <laughs> How are you feeling, friends? Are you sweating? Are you working? Are you feeling strong? Mm-hmm. Give me that thumbs up and just talk back to me. That's okay. I can hear you. Just, yeah. Oh, totally. 
Abs, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But you're doing great. <laughs> I hope that worked. Get on up. We have 10 seconds. Pop on those bands. Round number two. It's gonna be good. In three, two, jumping jacks. Let's go. We're back. Awesome, friends. Make sure you're getting those feet out nice and wide. If you want to keep things exciting, you can traverse to the side and traverse to the other side. You can make it around in circles and turn the other way. Is that a good nursery song? Anything to keep me distracted. <laughs> You got it, friends. Keep going, keep pushing. Get those feet out. You have eight more seconds. Breathe. You got it. Three, two, and one. Goodbye, band. We have planks, eyes to tease. This mat has moved. It is a mysterious one. It's trying to escape me on your knees or on your toes. Ready? Let's go. Reach it forward. Reach it side. Try your best to keep those hips stable. Imagine you have a hot cup of matcha latte on your back. You don't want to spill that precious matcha, do you? Do you? No, we don't. <laughs> so keep those hips stable. Keep breathing. And when you lift that arm, make sure the other shoulder is stable. We're not sinking here, right? We're really pushing through. You got it. Come on. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Woo! Lateral squats. Grab them weights. Grab the weights. Grab, grab the weights. Feet hip width. Shoulders back. Ready? Let's go. Step to the side. Hips back and down. Together. And switch. And optional. Squat to do. Good. I'm going to keep showing this to you from the front. Really make sure those hips go back and down. Sometimes people are leaning forward here. You really want to press those hips back. Look, I could sit in a chair right now. That's how intense and low I'm aiming to go. You have 15 seconds. Do not stop. Don't you dare. <laughs> if you need to, to catch your breath. And you can. But I believe in you. I believe in you. Three seconds. Two. And time. Woo! Lean backs. We love the lean backs. It really works our quads and our core in some very wonderful ways. Get in position. Shoulders back and down. Weights up. Let's go. Lean it back. And lean back. And lean back. Yes. You know, what gets me through these workouts is I just take them one move at a time. I'm not thinking about what we have left. I'm thinking about how I can make this one right here my best one. And that's it. <sighs> But it's intense for sure. <laughs> you are doing great. I know you are. Keep breathing. Inhale back. Exhale, lift up. Keep that core tight. You've got it. Five more seconds. Stay with me. And time. Amazing. Bridge, chest press. Let's do this. We're on our backs. Get down nice and safely. Feet hip width. Hips up. Leg up, arm up, let's press it, go! I know many of you are wondering where my husband Nick is. He decided to opt out of this workout. So, that's sad. <laughs> I still love him, don't worry. Keep those hips up. But that's why I want you to know that you are crushing it because you are here with me and I am so very grateful for you because it'd be really sad to be by myself, which technically I am right now, because no one else is in this room. <laughs> but we're good. 10 seconds, come on, friends. Push. Woo! 
three, two, and one. Rest that booty. Rest all the things. We have another side to do. It's very good. You're doing great. Keep breathing. You ready? Hips up, leg up, opposite arm up. Let's go. Now option with your foot, you can point or you can flex, but I don't want a halfway situation. I want you to be very intentional with what you do because that does affect the rest of the movement. Keep going, keep those hips up. Even mine, they'll want to sink a little bit, but I have to remember that we want those glutes fired up. Imagine you have fire under here. You don't wanna get burned. No, you're on a different type of fire. <laughs> Come on, eight seconds, keep those hips up. Good. Come on, almost there, and time. Woo, stay down, stay down, stay laying. Weights or no weights, extend those legs. Seated, sit, up. <sighs> it's a quick break. And it's over, ready, set, go! <laughs> Optional overhead press. Very good. Really use that core. Take your time. This move doesn't have to be fast. It just has to be super intentional. Kind of like we're tying everything together today. Keep your eyes forward. Soften your gaze. Soften your jaw. And really work it. Take your time. We have 10 seconds. See, that went by so fast. Did you even realize? Come on. Five, four, three, two, and time. Finishing off with parachuters. We are on the ground. We are on our belly buttons. And we are gonna fly this town. Are you with me? Yay! Let's go! Lift, <laughs> lift. Those weights are in the way. All right, pro tip here. Try to keep those eyes within your elbow line. We're not looking super far ahead. We're not tucked really deep here. You want to keep that neutral neck so that it's not overworking and we can focus on our back, which is what this move is for. Good, 15 seconds. Get those arms up. Last 10 seconds. Hold it here. You're flying. You're cruising through the sky. Point those toes. Reach those fingertips. One inch higher. Three, two, and time. Woo! I have good news. Yeah? We have one round left. Oh my gosh, we are over halfway. Like, so over halfway, it's like crazy. Grab the things you need. Mine still include water because I think the humidity in here is like zero percent. <laughs> it is real dry, um, but I'm sure um, you're fine. I didn't know how to finish that sentence. Okay, so last round, you've got it. It's all mental, I promise. Grab those bands, let's stand on up. We got, we got this. We have 10 seconds to get here. Don't wait till the last one. <sighs> last round, best round. You ready? Let's go. <sighs> Sometimes we just have to build that energy and we'll feel it, right? Just give me a big whoop right now, like woo! Yes, good. Did you do it? Can't tell. Ugh, it's hard. It's hard times. Good friends. That heart rate's going up. Those glutes are on fire. You have 15 seconds left. You're crushing it. You're so close. Keep it through. You have five seconds. You won't have to see these again. Three, two, and time. You don't have to see them again unless you want to, for some reason. Like, I don't know, you play this again tomorrow. <laughs> Planks, 
Eyes to T's. Let's go on our hands and toes. Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, you have precious cargo on your back. Last time, I chose a matcha latte. This time, you choose. Good. One key thing here is I notice a lot in planks, sometimes people don't fully press their hands down. Sometimes they do this, or they do, I don't know if you can see that, they go like here or here. I want you to really focus on pressing all the fingers and the palms through. Last eight seconds. Come on. Woo! Three, two, and one. Lateral squats and a squatty happy. If that's calling for you, is it calling for you? You've got it. Shoulders back and down. Let's go. Knees and toes, same direction. Keep that chest lifted and a little jump. Good. Do not lock those knees on the way down. Make sure you absorb that energy as you land. And really try to be light on your feet. That is gonna help you really feel that movement. Good. 15 more seconds. It is flying by. I'm actually kind of sad. Don't let it end. You're like, no, done, we're done. Three more seconds here, come on. Three, two, do one more. And time. Lean backs, here we go. Woo! We're working hard, team. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me, too. Yeah. <laughs> On our knees, toes curled, weights up, lean them back. Good. Really slow it down on this one. This is not a race for these lean backs because they're so technical. You do not want to rush through them. Feel those quads. Feel everything work. Come on. Soften those shoulders. Yes. Good. Come on. You got it. Woo. Ten more seconds. Look at that. Five, four, three, two, and time. Bridge, chest presses. We're getting close. I can feel it. On our backs, feet hip width apart, knees to the sky, hips up, one leg up, other arm up. Let's go. Good. This time I guess I'm choosing a flexed foot. Flexed or point. Just make sure you decided it. <laughs> it didn't just happen. All right, friends. Keep those chests working. Yes. I just feel like you're crushing it. I don't know. I'm just getting these vibes that you are doing so well. And that makes me so happy. And you know what? Even if maybe you're like, Oh, I could do better. You know, why are we so hard on ourselves? You're here, you're doing it. That's great. Three, two, and time. Take a breather. We only have three moves left. One of them is to equalize. Hips up, leg up, arm up. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Chest to press, all the way to the sky. Good. Are your hips lifted? Yeah, I, I, I saw it go up one more inch. That was good. Very good. I'm proud of you. Awesome. I just want you to keep breathing. I just want me to keep breathing too. <laughs> good. You have 15 seconds. You know, there is a ring light behind the camera for a little bit of light. And then when I look at the ceiling, I just see a lot of circles. Just everywhere. 15 seconds. Hips up. Come on, friends. Three, two, and time. Stay down. This is the best transition. We don't have to go anywhere except up from here. Legs come out. 
weights to your chest or maybe no weights at all. Totally up to you. Heels down, ready, let's go. Lift it up and an overhead press. Good. Keep reaching, breathing. You guys, these are our last two moves. How exciting is that? It's so good, then we can move on with our day and then I'll see you later somehow, right? 15 seconds, come on, so strong. Breathe it through, five more seconds. Can we do at least one more? Three, two, and one. Parachuters, at least one more. That was really optimistic for me for at five seconds. Sorry, I apologize. All right, friends, last move in three, two, one, let's go. Good, slow on the way up and the way down. Point those toes, reach those fingers. So good, amazing things happening. Work that back. You're working to even out the core on both sides. So this is just as important as like doing crunches or you know double leg lifts or whatever, right? This is just as crucial. 10 more seconds, let's hold it up. You're flying, you're dominating, you are crushing. Three, two, and time. Woo! I am so proud of you. Uh, I have no more words, no more thoughts. You crushed it, you did amazing. All right, friends, let's do a nice little cool down. Coming into a seated position, take those feeties together. Knees come out in a butterfly pose. Roll those shoulders back, heart open. How are you feeling? Yeah, I know. I don't know what you said. Go ahead and reach those arms forward. Big breath in, big breath out. I am so proud of you for showing up today. That is the hardest part, is getting here, getting on your mat, showing up. Once you're there, 95% of the work is done. You just gotta complete what you set out to do. Good, go ahead and take it all the way up. Let's go ahead and roll onto our belly buttons again. Stretching out that chest. You're gonna take your right arm out to the side. Bend that left knee, right arm out, bend the left knee, and then roll over onto your chest. Let your head relax. Let your left foot find some ground. Good. Whew. This is one of my favorite moves. I love it so much. I can stay here forever. Whew. On your next inhale, take it all the way back to the center. Left arm comes out, bend the right knee, roll over onto the left shoulder. I'm still here, don't worry. I'm just totally zoned out. <laughs> Good, roll over back onto your chest, hands next to your chest. Elbows to your rib cage. A little cobra stretch here. And then roll yourself back into child's pose. Knees come out, hips towards the heels. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up. Press yourself back into downward dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right leg through. Release that knee. Reach those arms up. Let those hips come down, stretching out those quads. Good. Frame that foot and then stretch out the front leg. Flex the toes, flex the feet if you would like. Uh, 
Good, step back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. And step that left foot through. Release that knee. Inhale, arms up. We're so relaxed. Everything's great. Frame that front foot. Straighten out that front leg. Flex that foot if you'd like. Sorry, that came very delayed. <laughs> Good. Step both feet together. Top of the mat. Nice, gentle forward fold. Head peels behind, hooks behind your legs. And then slowly lower those hips down and round them up. Find a nice, comfortable seated position. Hands on our knees, close the eyes. Shoulders roll back and down. Whew, soften that breath. Just take a moment here, reflecting on all the amazing work you just did. Acknowledge how you felt coming into the workout and acknowledge how you feel now. Making space for all of those feelings. And end your practice just feeling proud. It's not easy what you did. And you did it. And you persisted and you pursued and you rocked it. So be proud. Place both hands on top of your heart. Release all the breath from your lungs. Take one big breath in. and a sigh of relief. When you're ready, slowly blink those eyes open. You did it! Amazing work, friends. I'm so glad to spend this day with you and I hope that you had as much fun as I did. If there's a certain workout or focus that you'd like to see next, let me know, just comment, and I will really try so hard to make it happen. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Bye.